coming out. The core has got a little safety speech here. Uh, for the safety of you guys, you need to stay within the confines of the orange safety fence up there. Keep track of everyone that you came with. Do not stray away from the overflow spillway viewing area. Do not climb on the chain link fence. Watch your step because there is some ruts out there from where trucks and stuff's been running. And so everyone is aware because of the security, uh, due to the extremely high lake level and the current world affairs, the Wapapella Lake Project is at a heightened state of security right now. Cameras and camcorders are welcome. All bulky items such as coats, backpacks, and very large purses are subject to be searched. I don't think we have no reason to worry about all of us people from Wapapello. And you must stay within the tour area and please follow all directions. And if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them there. But it's going to be a while. I can say the I think it'd be good. While, <laughs> while you got the floor. Well, we had the barbecue stand, the BFW, the country rock, the Jeff barbecue place. The country side took it over. Yeah, he got sick on me. That's it. This is my first day here on the job. Welcome. <laughs> Volunteering. Volunteer. Who are you been? Volunteering. Oh. <laughs> no, I told us I, I'm retired. I don't need to get hurt. I will run for parts, fuel the trucks, check the oils, maintenance, whatever they need to be done like that. I'll do that. They probably didn't have guided tours on the list there when they signed you up, did they? No. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody go ahead and unload. Go. Hey, about what's going on here now? Well, for the most part, we are discharging about 7,000 cubic feet per second over the overflow structure. We're letting out an additional 3,000 to our gatehouse to maintain the 10,000 cubic feet per second outflow that's mandated by law. Mm -hmm. And in addition to that, we are trying to uh, make sure that we're watching and being vigilant here to ensure that uh, everything is operating as it's supposed to be. So that's kind of where we're at right now. We're in a watching game. We expect that the lake level. Uh, by May 12 should drop below the overflow structure, which will give us an elevation of 394.74 feet. At that time, we should regain control and quit having the uh, uncontrolled release, if you will, and we'll be able to control the alligator structure. Oh, wonderful.